Hi there, this is Spencer from BMP Conversions. I thought I'd make a little video just explaining how the actual friction wheel works on this mini uh, R56 N18 engine. So the the car came in with a, a horrible knocking noise. It actually sounded like very much like the death rattle noise that you hear from the timing chains, but it was a pronounced knocking noise and it seemed like it was coming from the inside of the engine. It's, it actually sounded like a little end bearing to me. Um, so after what we actually done was uh, we, we spoke to the customer, said that we didn't exactly know where the noise was coming from. So um, the only thing to do really was to do the, the thing which is most common on them. So we carried out the, the time and chain, we replaced the time and chain kit, the tensioners, the guides, um, and also the Vanos units, the full kit we fitted, um, and started up and still found there was a noise. Now, um, in doing that, while doing that repair, I'd obviously removed the friction uh, wheel, so the friction tensioner. Um, that basically is located on this engine in the inner wheel arch, you can see we're inside the inner wheel arch and this plastic item just up there that is a friction disc or what they call that um, so what that does as you start the engine the water pump which is just up there I'll try and get a shot of that there you go, there's your water pump up there and that, that tensioner now as you start the engine the engine crankshaft this is the crankshaft. This will be spinning in a clockwise motion. Um, that crankshaft is turning the air conditioning and the alternator. There's an alternator belt, which is connecting them three. This actual item here, this actually moves in and out electronically. So the ECU controls that item and it moves it in and out to turn it on and off. So what, what it's actually doing to apply uh, to emissions regulations they actually stop the water pump from turning when the engine is cold. So on first startup, this water pump won't turn until the engine reaches operating temperature. And then as soon as it gets to critical temperature, near boiling point, the, the wheel will then retract back on a worm gear. It will basically pull it back and it will then turn the water pump off the crankshaft. So that, that wheel, which is you know, is connected at the minute. Um, once I start the engine, this would go out, outwards and it wouldn't be in contact with these two pulleys anymore. Once it reaches temperature again, it will then retract back in and this crankshaft will start turning the water pump via this, you know, connection. So if you've done uh, a brand new tensioner and uh, obviously uh, that, that tensioner, they do make like the death rattle noise. So uh, obviously it was, it was a very, very pronounced noise. It sounded like a little end bearing to me. Um, and you know, I was concerned that the engine was damaged in one way or another. But since doing the actual item, when, I, when I'd done the chain, so I'd done the chain, I'd done the guys, I'd done the tensioners, uh, I'd done the um, Vanos units itself. There was no fault, I couldn't find anything wrong with those items. And uh, once I'd done that, I put it all back together, put the belt on, put that um, friction wheel in. And sure enough, the noise came back, but quite severely. Um, so uh, the, the noise was that pronounced that... Uh, you know, it, it sounded like the engine was going to fly apart. And what actually happened was the friction wheel had actually seized up, and you can see it actually seized up finally, finally let go, and uh, and done that damage to the water pump pulley. So the water pump pulley has a rubber face to it all the way around, and that's how them two grip onto each other. And uh, it, yeah, so that friction wheel, this item, this is the item that had actually seized up. You can see there, the bearing had gone, the item had seized up. So initially when it was going, it sounded like the death rattle on everyone else's videos. Then it seized up after I'd done the chain. I then pulled the actual, so on this, on this item, uh, let me try and, this little lever here, 
and try and do it one handed. Um, you can actually pull that and you can see that, see that it feeds in. So again, when you pull it, when you pull it out, can't do it one handed I'm afraid, but to take the tension off of this wheel, so let me just explain in the wheel arch. So in the, on that item there, this little tab here, you can pull that tab out, right, when you're fitting a new belt, you can pull this tab out all the way and hook it onto the little uh, plastic nub, just up there. What that'll do is that will actually release the tension off this, so that will allow this arm to go downwards. That will move this wheel away from the crankshaft and that will allow you to put a new belt in. Now, what happened on mine is my tensioner had gone and obviously they were jumping and knocking against each other, knocking between each other and making a, a you know, pronounced noise. So, if you've done a brand new water pump on this item, on this Mini, um, or any work on this Mini, and you've noticed that the actual water pump isn't turning, which is the main reason I'm making this video. I was concerned that the reason why the water pump wasn't turning and the friction wheel wasn't engaged. But it is actually meant to be like that and it is actually ECU controlled. So going back to the meaning of this video, um, the friction wheel won't engage until the car reaches its operating temperature. All right, so don't be concerned. You can run it up. I've bled the car out. Um, so now I put a new water pump in there. There's my reservoir bottle and you can actually see just down there that that little pipe coming off all the way up here. There's a little flat edge down there and that little flat edge is what you feed your screwdriver in and you twist that a few times. So just down there, twist that round a few times. That'll allow air out and allow the water to go in. Once the water comes out of this bleed nipple, the engine should be bled. All right, so I hope that helps, and uh, yeah, don't be concerned.